What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Today we're doing a stipulazione a drafteruski. The stipulation is by some MRI. Mono red dragons must take sneak attack red dragons and burn spells. Please beat them because Gotham's aren't always good enough. Uh, top planeswalkers and ramp can be exceptions. If it's not open, can go into blue for counter spells and card draw. I think if we're going to possibly be blue, um. Then we might just want Scalding Tarn, because it's a great fetch land. Planeswalkers and Ramp are exceptions. Uh, sneak Attack, Red Dragons, and Burn Spells. There's nothing really here. This does have a Dragon on it, but I think Scalding Tarn is probably going to be better for a playable deck if we want that. Can you guys... How loud is Thunder? Can you guys really hear him that much? Oh, Thunderbreak Regent. That's a Dragon. I don't like passing... I don't like taking it over the... I wouldn't take it over the Scarab God if I had a choice, but uh, we don't. So we're going to take uh, this guy. Sorry, I had to re- Dang it. Danny, I literally said, no, we could do it next if that works for you. And then I was like, well, let me know if that works for you. Otherwise, I'll do it now instead. But then you never responded. So I was like, I guess he just doesn't care. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, you literally, I literally asked you a question when you had to reset your Twitch. So uh, if it's still good for you, I can definitely do it uh, next. Ooh, Grim Monolith is ramp. And it's probably one of the best cards in this pack. I do like a Chromatic Lantern in cube, but Searing Spear. Yeah, that's fine. Grim Monolith works. We can get Grim. Okay, no dragons, no burn, and no planes. Where's our Ren and Six is a red planeswalker. And we do have a fetch land. Sneak attack, red dragons, and burn spells. Alright, we're just gonna take the Ren and Six. Oh, Dragon Lord of Tarka. That works out quite well with Ren and Six because they're both greenies. All right, this is this is going well so far. <sighs> going well. Banefire is a burn spell, but Dragon Lord Tarka is a dragon, so. Thank you. That be true. Arg, that be true. Scooney Love, what's going on, buddy? Welcome back. Thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Frank McInternet. That's uh that's what my mom used to call me. Oh, Nicol Bolas is a dragon. Are we just like five color, uh, are we just like five color dragons? Four color dragons, because we're not going to be playing white, so. I'm pretty sure we're just taking this red dragon, right? Oh, boy. Double black is hard, but, god, I don't even care. What if that chromatic lantern comes back? If we don't take Nicol Bolas, we're probably taking Sylvan Library. I'm just going to take Nicol Bolas, man. This is not a coward's dream. Nothing good here. Cold Steel Heart is helpful. It's actually very helpful. Coercive Portal is also very good. I think Coercive Portal is probably better. Have you had your bloods taken yet? No, I have my my Doctor's Moment is a tomorrow. Uh, Farseek. Lava Claw Reach is probably best here. I was walking around, minding my business. Yeah. What if the doctor clones you with the blood and starts <laughs> its own stream? Oh, shit. You guys have, uh... Oh, Bayou seems great. You guys have inadvertently stumbled upon my greatest fear. It's funny because the stipulation was called mono... Was it mono red dragons? Because... There are no... There's like two mono red dragons in the cube. So hopefully this is okay. 
I was more excited about fulfilling the dragon criteria than the mono red criteria. So hopefully, oh, you guys are going to shit all over this in the chat and the, the YouTube comments. It's supposed to be mono red dragons and he immediately took a green card. Ugh. To be fair, there was not many good red cards in here. I guess I'll just take Braska. Oh, Gilded Lotus seems great. That is helpful in Thank casting you. all of our things. Eh, Whip of Erebus could be very good with a bunch of different dragons. All right. It's in quite oh, Banefire. It's got to be Banefire, I think. I was walking along, minding my business. All right. Well, we're going to put you in the main deck now. Ravages of War is a lot like a dragon. Yeah, I guess that's true. All right. Dragon, 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 rock the dragon, dragon ball Z. You guys remember that? You guys remember that from Dragon Ball Z? Bloof stream? I don't even know what that means. I think you're drunk. Blood stream? This is... Oh, God. What's even happening? Tanos, welcome back, man. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are a gentleman and a scholar. And you'll probably be like, no, I'm not. And then you're going to make some comment. God, I know you so well. I don't think this is a dragon. This is a snake, guys. This is a snake. This dragon's on fire. Uh, we can take Thran Dynamo. There's no dragons in this pack whatsoever. This might be a dragon getting getting burnt up. I was walking along, minding my business. I'm going to take the Thran Dynamo. Oh, Verdant Catacombs seems fantastic with no dragons in the pack. It gets Bayou, and it also gets... Uh, well, nothing else. So it gets... But we also have Ren and Six, so I do want to maximize the number of fetch lands that we have going for us. Shiv and Fire has a dragon on it. It's... Shiv and Fire is a card that every time I play it, I really... There's situations where I wish it was Burst Lightning instead. And it never is. Uh, let's go Mana Confluence. I don't think any of these cards are good enough to take over. Wow, four dual lands. All of them are white. But Garden Hellkite, however... Is not is not white and it's not in its dragon. So, also with Thrain Dynamo and Core Support and Grim Model from and Gilded Lotus, I'm very okay with. How's our curve the worst? We got Grim Model, Thrain Dynamo, and Gilded Lotus. Get out of here. We have four dragons so far, and I think we've taken almost every dragon we've seen, if not every dragon we've seen. Your curve is not supposed to go two four eight. Uh, that's what you think. Joke's on you, buddy. We got a seven drop. Oh, Thunder Mile Hellkite? In. And there's nothing in this pack I'd even consider over a Thunder Mile Hellkite. Also, with all this mana, I'm like, Bane Fire, buddy. Dragon Skull Summit? Dragon Skull Summit seems good. Worn Power Stone, also not terrible. Especially with all these big fatties. I do like Dragon Skull Summit because I want to be able to make sure we can cast our spells. And... Uh, Nickel Bolas is double black. Thank you! Oh, Danny DB with the gifted subs. Thanks so much, buddy. You are awesome, man. Really appreciate you. Thank you! Danny D... D McBizzle. Y'all got any more of them two drops? I don't know if it's, I don't know Thank if we're up people in, buddy. There is still a Lily. Um, I kind of want to just take Bunchford or Batter Skull. Thank you. Like we don't have any removal right now, Thank other than you. Bane Fire. We have a lot of black sources, so I'm pretty okay with Bone Shredder. Thank you. You're so insanely lucky; it's mind blowing. The opponent that beat me a couple turns later. Oh, Breeding Pool is nice. Um, it's good for Nicobolas and also we can get it with Verdant Catacomb and Scalding Tarn yeah let's take that oh but a Steel Hellkite oh biscuits oh man the land would be so good for us
Yeah, I'm gonna take the dragon. Gotta take the dragon. Duplicant is kind of a dragon. Actually, I kind of like Bloodbraid Elf here. I like Doomblade too, though. Bloodbraid Elf hits like Ren and Six or Grim Monolith right now. That seems good. Let's take a Bloodbraid Elf. Obstinate Bayloth. Mm, Gaunty. Mm, this pack's actually very good. Jeez. I'm gonna take Garrick, whatever. Soren. Wow, these packs are not bad. Gideon murders dragons. Well, if we're just... I don't know if we're just taking cards that tangentially interact with dragons in some way, because that's... You can really make an argument for everything at that point. Well, what problem is... Here of Precinct 1, last pick? Jeez. Bam. Alakazam. An orange colored sky. Shut up and take my money. Okay. Optional step request. Choose up to two colors before drafting, then force them. That's easy enough. We could do that. We can do that for sure. T -t -t Tanos. Okay. Let's go over here. Any dragons in this pack? I don't think so. So I think we're, we're, on, we're either on Steam Vents or Polluted Delta. I think we're on Steam Vents. In. Is Mike going to be late today? If so, why does his employee... No, his, he actually is. He actually left on time today, which I'm thrilled about. Or do we just want Pluto Delta? Pluto Delta can get nothing so far. No, like, I guess I can get a Bayou. I like Pluto Delta because we have Ren and Six. I'm going to take the Pluto Delta. And hope that we can get something that gets these back. Oh, Coalition Relic seems fantastic. Fantastico. Um, yeah, that's Ramp and Fixing. We're going to do that guy. Uh, I really want a land that we can fetch with Verdant, Polluted, and Scalding Tarn. Move you guys over here. Fetch lands over here. I only have one land to really fetch here. Um, yeah, it's probably just Copperline Gorge. I'm pretty concerned with fixing at this point just because I want to make sure we can cast all of these cards. Bonfire is burn. But Samara said ramp, and I'm pretty sure by ramp he means also fixing. That would be an assumption I'm going to make. Also, you said bonefire, which is much funnier. Bloodstained Mire. God, apparently we can get all of the uh, all of the fetch lands and none of the cards to fetch. Hunter got in trouble earlier because he took a boneless wing off of my plate while I was not in the room. And I was like, Hunter, you know better than this, buddy. Colagon's command references a dragon. And it's got and it's, it, it's got burn attached to it. So that's pretty close. I think it's also very, very good. So I'll take it. No burn and no dragons means rootbound crag is coming home. We have four fetch lands. We're just going to have to like, search for basics with these guys. Goblin Guide is burn. Solid observation. Badlands is perfect! We can get it with all four of these? Oh, yes. I think Stomping Ground is also good. We already have Copperline Gore, Group on Crag. I'm going to take this Badlands. Wow, that was great. What is this? What are you doing in here? You're not even that great. Like, we don't actually have any other red planeswalkers. 
I guess we have a, a, a Renin 6, a single Renin 6. It's probably just Necrotal, I guess. I don't know. Oh, the Steam Vents came back? Wow, we're going to need some playables. But we also have, uh, we can put Whip of Erebos and Vraska in the deck. Mm. Steam Vents is nice here. Marsh Flats? Wow, five fetch lands? I'm going to take the Collective Brutality, I think. Because we need playables, so. The Bonfire came back. I mean, we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six dragons. That seems pretty good for the cube. I would also put this Vraska in here, I guess. Like, we have a lot of ramp, too, so I don't feel terrible about that. Sultan Sun's are fight with fire. Sultan Sun's got actually pretty decent. It doesn't actually kill any of our own stuff. Rurik Thar. And Arcane Artisan's not terrible with Dragon Lord's Harkin, Bogart, and Hellkite. That's interesting. I'll take Rurik Thar. Maybe that just kills some people. Spellskite? Sure. Assa actually, Assassin's Trophy's a. Wow, that's last pick? Jeez, that's playable. I would actually play that over Bone Shredder. Yeah, this deck looks pretty interesting. I'm I'm okay with it. Also, all our lands are great. So now we can get Bayou, Badlands, and Steam Vents. And we have four fetch lands. Steam Vents is nice because it lets uh Bloodstained Mire and Scalding Tarn and Polluted Delta get a blue source, so we don't have to we don't probably don't have to play an island. Bone Shredder fits with Bone Fire, that's true. I have to sneeze. <coughs> every time, guys, every time. Okay, let's... <laughs> yeah, the all fetch lands dragon plan is too good. Everybody's like, I, like man, I, I can't mess with that, I'm sorry. Also, our mana base is sickening. Get you guys over here. Wow, there's a lot of artifacts, too. Also, we have Gilded Lotus, Grim Monolith, Coalition Relic, and Thran Dynamo. That's fantastic. I did see the new Sultai Volrath, actually. And I was like, this is pretty good. All right, um, got distracted for a second. What are the statistics of drafting literally the exact same deck as someone in a card for card and playing against them? Uh, oh, God. I mean, I would say like million to one. Like that seems statistically, the, the number of things that would have to go right for that to happen. I don't even know how to calculate something like that. Because you'd have to get, you'd have to not only get past every single card, you have to have the option to take every single card. Then you'd have to take every single card. And all seven of the other players would have to decline taking any of the cards that you need. They would have to be in the packs. Because don't forget, like, not all the cards from the cube are in on the eight packs. The eight, the 24 packs that you guys are drafting. So there'd be definitely be, be cards that aren't even included in that draft. And then you have to build your deck exactly the same. And then you have to play against that person. Like, it's astronomical. Like, I would say one in trillions. I don't even think that's hyperbolic. Okay. Green, we have one, two, three, four. Fluted Delta, yes, five, six. No, seven. Eight? I like eight. Okay. 
Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Probably go down to eleven there. Or twelve. Twelve seems like. One, two, three. I'm actually gonna tweet. I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet to Frank Carson and ask him and be like, "Hey, what are the odds? What are the statistics of drafting?" I'm gonna actually clip that question and I'm gonna ask him. All right, so in black we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, it's calling turn eight, nine, ten. Sure, I think we can actually do that in one island. Oh wow, we still got one more land. Jeez, jeez. I guess mountain. Wow, that's a that's a great mana base. Oh my god, I would get that all the time, dude. People would come up to me at events and be like, Hey man, you're Frank, aren't you? And I'd be like, yeah. And they'd be like, I love your I love your math articles. And I'm like, my ma Oh, I know what's happening here. People would confuse me and Frank Carson all the time because we're like the only two Franks in the, in the magic community. Oh, this hand is great. Crack fetch, crack fetch, run in six. Get back fetch. Oh yes, we're doing it. For the trillionth time you're being hyperbolic. I'm not though. I don't think that's true. I think like, I think it literally would be like one in a trillion. Like the odds of that happening. Like I don't think that's even hyperbolic. I think that's just literally the statistics of it. Unless you were just making a joke about being hyperbolic, and that's that's funny, and then we're having, a, then we're just having a little, a little hyperbolic meme. Oh my god, do I just get to play Ren and Six and kill this thing? Just get a Bayou? Oh wow, that's insane. I was walking along, getting a Bayou. Wham, bam, killed your steam can. Did it, did it do? That's a good deal, man. Oh, thank you. I'm pretty good at math. <laughs> Why, thank you very much. I'm actually quite good at mathematics. I kind of just want to kill this guy. I kind of just want to banefire this thing. They can't flip it. It could be threatening. Next time we can play this and this, and we have like a million mana at that point. Um, yeah, that would have just killed our guy. I ain't about that. I ain't about that kill my run in six life. I was walking along. So we have three black sources and two red sources. We're just going to get a mountain here. This is some good value. This is some great value, guys. But do 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 I will pass the turn. Wow, no plays whatsoever. I was expecting like a Vendillion click or something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 11 mana when we untap. Mm, that's a lot. Okay, well, I guess you get to kill my Ren and 6 with your stupid dragon. 
aggressive. Very aggressive. Nickel bolus. Not a nickel bolus. It's a lot of lands, guys. A lot of lands. Uh, let's get a steam ventos. Ventos, the fresh maker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Could have attacked with lava claw reaches. Oh, that's probably going to be our downfall. They're going to they're going to kill us at two life. Okay, I think we're I think we're gonna be bonfiring of the dam now. Why have they played more dragons than we have? This is bullshit! <clears throat> hmm. Well that's interesting. Do we just steal this? <laughs> I mean if they have an answer for it, it seems pretty good, right? Thank you! Dr. Funkberger MD, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Do we bonfire or do we just kill this? Or do we steal this? I think we gotta steal this, right? So we have black, blue, black, red. Thank you. Wait, they're not gonna draw five if we bonfire, right? It's whenever... Yeah, this just deals the damage. Uh, so, one, two, three. Blue, black, black. Water Sports Drew, nice article on my horizons. Really enjoyed the read, and I made sure to comment. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, definitely head over to CoolStuffInc.com and check out my article about... Uh, about the... Uh, the sleepers, not like the sleepers, but the cards that aren't super po like the cards you didn't expect that were going to be as good as they are in Modern Horizons. I mean, if they can kill this and get rid of Nicol Bolas, we still have Bonfire, and we still get to draw a card from them killing Nave Mizzet. So, yeah, that's fine. That just that's just like the that's that's fine. Well, that's sad. What is this guy? Uh, when it becomes a target spell, really shuffle it. Sure. Yeah, that's that's something. All right. I guess they kill Nicobolus now. I mean, we get to Veraska this guy. I'm not even too worried about it. We got to use our dragon to steal a second dragon, so. One, two, three, four. Veraski. Wow, well, should have we have collected Brutality first in case they have Pact Indigation? They can't have Force of Will. One, two, we'll collect a brutality and we'll multiple modes. Start upon a real hand. Sure. Let's discard a bloodstained mire. Wow, that was great. <laughs> that was your answer to Vraska. That was nice. Also, as a further plug, I've been very much enjoying Mana Traders. After the three months of your discount, we're up. I still cut. That's awesome to hear, man. Mana Traders is also my other uh, sponsor where they have uh, subscription service. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Jesus. So you get Shivan Fire and Lightning Helix to kill your own Niv Mizzet. And then we make you discard Searing Spear and you still draw Lightning Bolt. That's phenomenal. That is just phenomenal. Phenomenal. Cycle this dude. 
Can I get one dragon here? Coalition Relic. That's not really a dragon, but... I mean, at least we're well suited for any kind of threats they produce here. This is a lot of mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why are we attacking with the Lava Claw Reaches? I think we just killed him in two turns if we just started attacking with Lava Claw Reaches. Theoretically, they should be at four right now. They should be at 16. Okay, let's... Our opponent's like, this guy doesn't even know his Lava Claw Reaches does anything. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Is that a red? Black red. Get in there with this guy. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, yeah. Is Bonfire Lethal? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we can deal 8 to the face. Not quite Bonfire. Not, not quite Lethal. 3 away. Oh, we should have played Mana Confluence and put them to 10. That's what we should have done last turn. I was so focused on using the mana to play Lava Claw Reach that I didn't even think to play the extra land here, but... I don't think it matters. Out of an orange. Was it three, four, five, six, seven? And that's the end. Duplicate the lava claw. That's solid. That's a solid strategy. I was walking along, minding my business. Spell Skite seems actually great here because they have a million burn spells. I don't think Rurik Thar is that bad either. Take out the Steel Hawkeye, okay, bring in the Rurik Thar. Maybe. My problem is they have a lot of dragons, so like Bone Shredder and Necrotal actually seem great here. Got the bonfire. <laughs> I think your registrar has gone bad. You should throw it out. Wow, I no, I don't know. I don't believe in that. I think the expiration date on registers is just a suggestion because it's trying to. That's just that's just big big registrar trying to trying to sell more more product. Whatever that means. So this can get a. Badlands, which is great because we want a second black. But because we boarded in... Oh, that's a lot of... Uh, because we boarded in Bone Shredder, we're going to assuredly hit that with Bloodbraid Elf. Let's... That is one bad lands. Come on, Ren and Six, one time. That's not a Ren and Six at all. Man, that's sad. Monsonster, what's going on, my dude? Good seeing you. Well, that's pretty good. Well, that's not as good. All right. Well, we're in uh, we're in land pass mode here.
Oh man, can you imagine if we did have still uh, bonfire in our deck and we just top decked a bonfire here? Now I actually don't mind hitting. Shut up and take my money. Bonus road. Big registrar. Big registrar here. Just reminding you to check the expiration dates on your registrars. Consuming or utilizing expired registrars could lead to illness or death. Oh, that's terrible. Well, that's just terrible. It's, well, speak of the devil. I would like another black source here. Bone shredders are ready. Renin six. Fashion will lead to the party, Renin six. Just kill one of these things? Yeah, I don't think I need to land here. If Scalding Carn can get us a black source, I'd be way more inclined to grab one, but. Right now. Ren and six. Dang. Oh, the old one session D and D campaign. A classic. Which is more valuable? Probably the P and Thank Q and the R, right? I mean, all these creatures are pretty disposable. I'm going face. Sir Edge, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Oh, because there's only two. Never mind, I'm stupid. I thought it was three. I was like, wait, why would you do that? Have you done your gaming stream? No, not yet. This week one was rough. It was hard to get motivated. I felt, I had like a little bit of depression. Get rid of the steam cannon, it has a higher upside, so. I roll. It's actually not bad. Um. I mean, we get to kill this, but it doesn't really do much is the problem. Like, we could make a wolf, but then we're just blocking P and Kieran LR. They deal one to Garrick, and then they shoot it with the Thopter anyway, so it's basically the same thing. I would love to Necrotal that Teferi. However, there's multiple reasons why that will not work at this particular juncture. That's a yikes for me, dog. Man, this Bogart and Hellkite would be nice, but... Huh. Solid. Solid gone. One, two, three, four, five. Get to kill the Thopter. Don't get to kill the Teferi, though, unfortunately. This is risky because they have a lot of burn in their deck. But the alternative is they just... If they have the burn, they're just going to kill the Thunder Mahokat anyway and then just attack us for five. And that's not that much better. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're just going to, like, Searing Lightning Strike, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Helix us. Yep. Oh, they're just going to... Why does Thunderbolt Hook have one damage on it? Wait, why didn't they just kill us? <laughs> why didn't they just kill us? Huh. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Well... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A second black source would be great. I'm going to take out one mountain and put another black source in because we have a lot of double black cards. I posted 14 deck lists today. Okay, MTG Jank. Yeah, 
I mean, actually, we can get back. So here's what we're going to do. One, two, three. Return a creature. Return a creature. Deal two damage. Get back blood. Shoot you. And if we can hit that bone shredder, maybe we got a game. Is there anything else we can hit? Probably not. It's got to be Bone Shredder. Oh, whoa! Yeah, that'll do. Whoa! That'll do! <clears throat> I was walking along, minding my assassin's trophy, and then they fucking had Supreme Will. Not great, Bob! Oh, I have a supreme will, you see. Oh, Let's take out one of these mountains and another swampums. <coughs> Especially because three of our, our fetch lands can get swamps, so. Not great, Bert. Better lucky than good is an age-old saying. I don't think that's any any particular streamer saying. That saying is is a, is is decade like a decade old. Wow, this hand is terrible. If we can draw one fetch land, it's good. Oh, I didn't want to keep this, but here we are. Oh god, fetch land on the top, please. Oh god, mistakes were made, guys. This hand is great if we hit a land. It's really good. I mean, they probably just they just missed it. That's all. That's literally what it comes down to. Oh fuck. God damn, it's so stupid. I just didn't want to keep this. I just meant no. When I asked me if I want to keep this, I meant no. I said yes, I meant no. Wait, they also discard? What's happening here? Did they mulligan? Do we both keep one land hands? Oh boy. Oh yes. Let's return nothing and just plus because I don't want to get lightning bolted out. What? Wait, what? Why did they? <laughs> What's even happening right now? <laughs> Holy Jesus. Come on, lands. Let's keep it up. Oh, biscuits. Oh, we really needed a land there. All right, well, let's see what we got here. One, two. Wow. All right, so their hand is not great. They do have Manic Vandal, which is not great for our Coalition Relic. Relic. <laughs> Why did they discard him? This is crazy. What a crazy time to be alive. Land. Come on, let's do it. Fetch land. Gilded Lotus. Okay, well... Well, they're going to pester mite here, and then they're going to attack for two, put you down to four, and then we can kill the pester mite. And we're just hoping they didn't top deck land. And, uh, I have two lands. Why wouldn't you play this during map keep and tap down a land? This is crazy. Yeah, if they're watching my stream and heard me say I didn't mean to keep this one land hand, the last thing I think they're doing is showing sympathy for me. I don't think you're going to ghost someone and then also show... This is fucking stupid. T two lands and 12 cards. Come on. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. I have no desire to ramp your mana. I guess we'll get rid of... Probably Gilded Lotus here. Uh, 
Should Splinter, Splinter Twin be in cube? Yeah, I think it's actually fine. The number of matches I lose to Splinter Twin is not exorbitant, and uh, it's it's a nice card to go with other cards. It's not a bad. Fetch land one time. I'm not asking for a lot here. Talran, Sky Summoner. Like, I don't even want to ramp them because they have literal two six drops in hand. Oh, we did it. Oh, yeah, it feels so good. Feels good. Badlands. Return. Scalding Tarn. Play this guy. One, two, three. Charge it up. Okay. Not dead. Oh, Jesus. Well, we're Necrotalling Aurelia for sure. I'd say Ren and Six did his job. It got us, it drew us, a, it drew us a land and it killed a Pester Mite. And it soaked up some damage. Like, I don't think there's any more I could ask for. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Let's add green shooting at the heart of heartache bang bang I kill the Aurelia one two we could have also just played Braska killed that and then she dies though that doesn't do much good I really enjoyed the concept of cube so much, in fact, that I went out and bought all the cards I didn't have to complete the list. I can't wait for them to get here and draw. That's awesome. Zimini Pot. I actually had a good time with it, too. I thought it was pretty good. I would love to make a few changes. I couldn't think of any off the top of my head. But I know there was things I was like, eh, I wish this was a different. But ultimately, I think it was a great cube. I tried so hard to get my team lead to make a Renin 6 joke during the start of round 6. Wow. Wow. That's low-hanging fruit on Drum Tuna. Low hanging fruitums. Okay, so what did they have? They had Supreme Will last time, right? So we can play around Supreme Will. Supreme Will is three or four. I think it's four. Maybe we can't play around Supreme Will. We get Hunter a doggy bidet for his birthday? No. No, I will not. He does not need that. Oh, that just resolves. Well then. Oh, you're going to pay some costs here, I see. It is three. Oh, that's great news. Okay, cool. Dogs don't even need bidets. Like, dogs, every poop a dog takes is a clean break. Gotta tell you, having a having a duplicate in hand for either one of these is is a good feeling. Dude, if I were a mutant, my yeah, my 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 preferred power would be clean breaks. Mono clean breaks. Why would they make so many Narset jokes? I don't understand. Dark Dwellers. That's good. Shooting up the whole of heartache. Bang, bang. What are you getting back? Electrolyze? Oh. One here and one here? That's a, that's fantastic. If I was a UFC fighter, what would my nickname be? Fuck if I know. <laughs> Let's crack this guy. Let's get a steam vents tapped. Uh, do we just? I'm tempted to kill this guy. We got a seven, six.
whatever. I don't think we're winning this game. I think we're way too far behind here. They're just, they have the perfect answer for everything. And we missed like five land drops, so. So we have enough mana to play both of these, which is not bad. But this guy has Menace, which is pretty scary when we're at seven, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I think this is our best choice. Thunderbreak Regent can't block, so we're, I, I have no desire to go to three. We can play Vraska, but then she just dies, and it doesn't put anything on the board to block these guys, so again, that puts us to three. Wow, they just have it all, don't they? Wow. This is amazing. Yeah, like we're dead to fucking Inferno Titan, so whatever. This is stupid. I mean, we missed 13 land drops, so... <laughs> Hard to feel too bad. I mean, we missed like 8 land drops and our opponent F6 is their first turn and has to discard a land, like... <laughs> it's kind of a joke match, I guess. Good times. You know what? I'll keep this hand. It's got all the lands a boy could want. I have to go to work tomorrow and don't want to. Can you employ me and be your personal phlebotomist? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Wow, this guy's annoying. Run six. Nicobolus. Basically the same thing. Can't draw lands is my middle name. That's my middle name. <laughs> Confirmed. World is not a simulation this time. This time. It's going to buy you. Ren six. Still no Ren six, huh? All right. All right. Well, that's a lot of lands. Rob something something Rob's last name. Wow. Sounds about right. Oh man, Renin 6 is looking spicier and spicier, guys. Bonfire. Okay, we're not hitting any of the cards that we're calling, which is just unbelievable. One, two, three. Do, 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 do. This is never resolving, right? They're just going to counter it. They resolved. Get rid of you. You think it's like it's Rob Mike B. Rob's last name? Is that what you think? So long, little Garuk. Oh, that would have been... Where were you last turn? If I drew you last turn, we'd still have a Planeswalker.
No, someone's middle name being someone's name doesn't make the next person a junior, right? That's not how that works. Come on, Undrum Tuna. Wow, fuck Jesus. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, goody. I am making it worse. You're not kidding. You ain't kidding. Because I'm Untrump Tuna Jr. No, you're not. That's a lie. There's no junior after your name. Um, black, black, black. I just got a forest here. Jesus. Where's all the ramp in our stupid. This is dumb. I feel like we should not be struggling this much. Like, we have Grim Monolith, Thran Dynamo, Coalition Relic. And there's another one, wasn't there? Oh, yeah, maybe you're the 832nd Undrum Tuna, the 832nd of her name. Shooting up the How about a Dragon Lord of Tarka followed by a land? Are these things you can provide to me, Magic Online? Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Okay. Well, five, six, seven. We go to six. They can get back a Gonti or a Dark Confidant. Yep. Yep, not even going to finish that. Nope, not going to let you look. Because we're not going to... Like, our odds of winning this game is extremely low. Time to get that new badge and name, biddies. <laughs> What's the new name? You get a new name? A girl does have a name. And Undrum Tuna does have a name. Undrum Tuna, you're awesome. Thank you so much, buddy. I think I'm just going to smell like this. I think the deck is good. Oh, we're going to take out the one mountain and add another black source. That's what we're doing. I'll play first, sure. I'll keep this hand, sure. <clears throat> this is actually a fantastic hand. Ren and Six also kills both of the creatures they played pre pre Scarab God. Now we're just gonna get a Steam Vents. Play 
Please be true. Do, 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 do. Wow, this guy just gets killed. That's amazing. You got it. Got the day off. Any suggestions what I should do? Go see, uh, go see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and let me know what you think. Play Cube is also another solid suggestion. Ren and Six single-handedly wins this game. Wow. That's gas. <laughs> yeah, just gonna submit again. Like this. <sighs> Ren and Six's ultimate is uh, you get an emblem where all the instants and sorcerers in your graveyard have a retrace. I'm actually gonna keep this hand. I think this one's fine too. It's no Ren and Six, but Collector, collector Brutality is pretty good. Snackums and Forkums? What does that even mean? Uh, I did see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and I don't know what I thought of it the first time. I was like, so I want to see it again and give it another chance because it's Tarantino. Um, we need a black source. I think it's just Badlands. That's a Badlands right there, my dude. So we can discard something, kill this, and look at your little hando. Your hando, Calrissian. Or we could not care about this. Literal whiffs. Okay, now I wish I kept it in hand so I can kill the Dark Confidant. But uh, that's life, I guess. Their hand is great. Just a little slow. Sweltering Suns, one time. Colgon's command is actually fantastic here. Wow! Wowie kazowie! Alright. Would have loved to play Coalition Relic, but I ain't in the business of giving you more turns. What did you You played an island? So, island gone. Dark Confidant gone. Oh, they missed the... No, they didn't. I was like, ooh, they missed the land drop. Nope, they did not. Charge it up. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll have seven mana next turn. We can go five, Gilded Lotus, and still have five left over. All right, we need something good here. That's all right. It might be necessary, unfortunately. So, uh, one, two, three, four. Gilded low two C. Black. Green. Let's get this guy out of here. You should check the combo deck I post on MC Jank Tank Legacy. It has like four you win the game combos that are all different. It in it. Oh, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> if this was a duplicate, I'd be much happier, but. I mean, if they just want to play. If they just want to replay Scarab God, that's fine. Oh, no! Oh, I forgot to do the thing. 
Oh, that's so bad. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess it's still fine. We wouldn't have used the mana anyway. We would have saved a point, though. God, dude, Scarab God is such a stupid card. It's unreal. I mean, we have an extra mana, so I'm not really too concerned with days. And this just means if they want to take the next turn off to uh, to duplicate here, that's fine. And they do. They were like, I do want to do that. And I was like, okay, you can do it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Steely Boy. Two, three, four. This guy. Alright, well, we know they have Scarab God, and that's all we basically know about. I guess you kill this guy too. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you? Well, hoping we can draw a non-land card here. Non-land, one time. That's not ideal, unfortunately. Not ideal. Because of course, why wouldn't you have Gatekeeper of Malakir in hand? And I'm pretty sure we have Bonfire in the deck still, right? Can you imagine? 5, 10, 11, 12. No blocks. You can put us to 1. Come on, bonfire. Interesting. They are going to put us to one. Watch, it's going to hit. This is going to hit uh, a bonfire. You ready? We've won, a, we've won a game each match, so I'm okay with that. To be clear, I think Bonfire was actually the only card it could hit. We had Assassin's Trophy. 
No, it could have hit Banefire too, I guess. We used Assassin's Trophy. We used we had Relic on board. We used Kolagon's Command. I think this was gone. I guess it could have hit Monolith. They dealt with Ren and Six. Maybe that was the same game. No, they didn't. We could have hit either of these. So our odds were low. But, like, it's still just funny. Denmark, what's going on, buddy? Also, Brett, what's going on, my dude? Unbelievable. Yeah, I'll try this. Man, top deck Ren and Six is all I want. It's all I ever want. Except for the fact that this hand is we need we need a green source, because I don't think we can get a green source with our Bloodstained Mire. Uh new additions to the cube feel fine. I think there's a lot of redundancy in this cube, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I think the cube is still fine. That little snake dragon I mentioned? What are you even saying right now? Oh, the Hex Drinker? Is this a Hex Drinker reference? We do have a Bayou. Dang it, I'm so bad at this. But then we don't get a red source. So we can't get like a... I want a, I want a red source and a... Uh... Did you say huge? So now I'm stuck to getting either a black, a black green land or a black red land. But we do have Coalition Relic, so I guess that's fine. We also don't even have Ren and Six. I don't even know what the, what the problem is here. Okay, so now we can get the green. Now we can get the green one. <laughs> Coalition Relic into any one of these multiple things. Actually, Coalition Relic into Thran Dynamo and Garrick seems great. You guys ever fold your ear over, like, in weird ways? Like, look at this. Look how you can fold your ear. It's so weird, right? Look how weird ears are. You can just fold it over. Whoop, I'm just gonna fold my ear. It's a weird thing to do, right? My ear is stiff, it can't fall. Is that true? Is a stiff ear a thing? Do I have a weird floppy ear? One, two, three, four, five, six. We can go use four to cast this. Oh, we can actually play all three of these. We don't even need this land. Are you draw <laughs> Yeah, man. I don't know. I was joking. You have a you were joking? You're not a weirdo? Do you not? You're Trust me, buddy. I know you. You're a weirdo. You won't even wear a dress on stream. Oh, Flamekin Zealot. All right, let's add, I guess, a green. And then we can go one, two, three... So we play Thran, we play this. Yeah, this is probably better to get the Lava Claw Reaches. You try that hot sauce? No, I have not. Also, it's worth noting that there are gross mint Oreo pieces floating around in it. So thank you for that, dudes. <laughs> also, I had to put it in the fridge because it says refrigerator after opening. It was just, we just left it here, so... Do, do, do. One, two, three. Yeah, I we just go nickel balls next turn. Seems good. Frank has a floppy and Rob has a stiffy. Ear, that is. I think I think we're I think we're way ahead here even though we're at eleven. I don't know, magic's hard. Devil's play for one and then you attack this guy. Sure.
Have you, Rob, and Mike considered doing a D&D stream? Um, I don't think we've ever considered it, but I I like that idea a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana. What if I just, like... Can I just kill your land? Or we can just Bogarden Hellkite and kill this idiot. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Yeah, that seems fine. Sure. This is where they... I, got, I was like, this is where they zealous conscripts, but I'm like, oh, you only got two. I got three mana. Nickel Bullish just comes on down and starts killing your lands. Jesus. Boxing chess? I don't think so. That doesn't sound familiar. You know, I don't think so. Oh, God, what are you getting rid of? Oh, my manas. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we need another land for the Nickel Bullish. Manic Vandal's like the rudest dude ever. I'm gonna add a blue. I don't know why. Doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're so close, man. I mean, this at least lets us have the extra clue mana for next turn. I'm going to attack here because I'm pretty sure I'm concerned with um, Hellrider, but I think it's fine. charge counter on your friend alright we're gonna add a blue here Ooh. a gilded lotus alright we'll create a, a blocky boy black black red and this Nicholas Borlas Gain control of you. Make a gentleman. Feels like we're in okay shape here. I don't know. They could probably go five mana, zealous conscripts, steel bogard, and hellkite. That doesn't do much. Lava Coil on both of my dudes. Well, one of their dudes, I guess. <laughs> They're using a lot of resources to deal one damage to a Planeswalker. But then they're just dead to Lava Coil. I think they're just dead here. I'm starting a new side business where I'm selling Franklin for ringtones. You can get little phrases for text messages and whistles and songs for phone calls. <laughs> Press 1 to subscribe. Wow. Oh, that's a... Guys, do we get to just win this match with dragons? Dragon, dragon. Dragon, dragon, ballsy. I'm just going to win with dragons. Because stipulation, guys. Mono red. We're winning with mono red dragons. He's like, why did you do all this? Why did you uptake all your shit when you can just kill me? And I'll be like, well, buddy, listen. It's for the people. I'm sorry. It's for the people. Spell Skite seems good. Whip of Orobus seems good. Is that his name, Orobus? 
the god of robes. When you out when you outread the mono red player. That's all I want to do in my life. I want to outread the mono red player. We got red spells? I got better red spells, buddy. Do you take requests for songs or only sing what the voices in your head demand? It's mostly head voices. We can go Badlands and a Rootbound Crag, which sets us up nicely for our Ren and Schmix. Uh, we have no white in the deck whatsoever. We have no white lands and no way to get white lands. So adding Soren seems pretty rough. No blocks. Come on, T Jesse, get it together. What do we get in here? It's probably steam vents. Because we already have a bad lands, the baddest of lands. Relic is white mana. Dang. You got me. I have been gotten. Wow, that spell sky really took a beating. I listen to the wind, to the wind. I'm actually just going to play this right now. Uh, if this guy becomes a 4-4, four, four, we're in... We're in deep. Deep, deep. We're in the deep, deep. As Adele would say. We're rolling in the deep at that point. Oh, would they miss land drop? Land, come on. Let's do it. Eight drop is close. If I had to choose between a land and an eight drop, I think it'd be a hard choice. I understand. This is the first draft. All right, let's. All right, four drop sounds good. Nice. Uh, we're having a nice back and forth here. All right. Well, that that guy's good. That is another I wish I just had the Sweltering Suns for, but sometimes you eat the bar and sometimes just, just gonna, just gonna really, this is unbelievable. They miss like four land drops and we just can't even capitalize on it by playing any one of these one, two, three, four, four drops. But that's life, I guess. Life is just not hitting your 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 manas, your manuses. Oh. <laughs> I got four dragons in my hand, but I, I have more dragons in hand than lands. That's Magic the Gathering for you. How many mics did you have to sacrifice to Lady Luck to Tommy to Pro Tour and not get manas? It, oh, look, another four. Guys, it's another four drop. Yeah, that was a fun game. I had a good time. I'm bringing this bone shredder in. Oh, listen to it. I got steel hellkite. Thank you. <sighs> I don't think you've drawn a lance since I started watching the stream, actually. Yeah. I don't think I have either. Aurora Spotter, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Don't get to catch the stream very often, but love the content from afar on the land of the Eats. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. You are awesome. Oh, oh, snapums, mickeepums, as we say in the biz. Do we say that? I don't know. It's hard to say. Is it not a phase? There it is. Yeah, it literally, Billy's like, dang, I can't remember the face command. I'm like, it literally worked the first time. What? What do we say now? What's happening? Oh, good. That guy doesn't, that guy doesn't die to Ren and Six. 
I think we still play to go to four, right? Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. I don't think it does anything here. It just dies eventually. So that guy dies. Oh, both of those die. Alright. I'm game. Just gonna kill this figure of destiny because that guy is no bueno. Ooh, Coligon's command. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> What's even happening right now? Oh man, Snapums McKeepums is my is my Slim Jim name. Oh, uh, I haven't checked out many new spoilers just because I'm not a huge Commander fan. Not, not that I'm not a fan of it. I just don't play much Commander, and also because uh, most of the time when I talk, oh, maybe I'll maybe I'll talk about Commander cards that can go into the cube. I'm gonna have to leave. How dare you? How dare you? All right, let's see what we got here. Something good. Oh, collective brutality. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Rick. Um, let's. Hmm. <coughs> well, we're definitely killing one of these guys, and we're definitely looking at your hand. So we're definitely choosing two modes. I don't think I'm. I don't think any of these cards are worth two life, though. So cast, choose an opponent, choose a creature. Probably this guy. Discard a card. It's probably duplicate. None of these guys are super scary. Firebolt and Devil's Play. Well, you're not anywhere close to casting Firebolt, so I'd rather you get rid of the Devil's Play, I guess. I listen to the wind, to the wind. And also we can Kulagon's command kill both of these guys next turn. So we're going to take 4, go to 12. And then we're going to Kulagon's command their board. I'm not a commander fan. That's true. I don't like fun. Fun is my least favorite hobby. But also then I go to shortstops and I see like Alex Presno with like 400 commander decks. And I'm like, but why, Cat? Why, Alex? But why? Actually, maybe I just Kolagon's command, kill this guy, and get Bloodbraid Elf back. Now nah, we're gonna play Thran Dynamo. Like they're not gonna if if we get one turn before they play before they get to play Matic Vandal. If they miss one more land drop, then we get to play Dragon Lord. And if they just play Matic Vandal, we get to kill both. Of, yeah, all right. So <laughs> never fails. But we still get the Kolagon's command, kill their board. So. Would really like to play that, but I'm not gonna like turn artifact. Oh, Brett, that's one of the things I love about Commander is that you get. To, it's it's one of the things I love about Cube too is that you get to play with the obscure cards that you'd rarely play with otherwise. That's one of that is one of my favorite things about the format. Hellrider, right? No, this is just Devil's Play for three. Okay.
This is actually looking okay now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm looking to buy some extras. Someone I got, I got led on about on a. I got led on about a set on Twitter. So I'm reaching. I'm reaching outwards. What does that even? What does that even mean? Yeah, Cyclonic Rift? No, that's not an obscure card. That's just you being a maniac. Oh, Banefire. Well, shoot. What's better value? Just playing Dragon Lord of Tarka? Oh, me when I play Cyclonic Rift. Got it. Oh, <laughs> okay. 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 Um, ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I just play this? Yes, because we have Bogarden Hellkite, right? So it's just let's just get eight power on board. If they wanna if they have zealous conscripts, then we're dead. <clears throat> uh okay, no legal targets. But if they don't, maybe we get to win. I don't know, man. Okay, I'll block. Devil's place three, so they could deal what one, two. So they could deal two, three, four. I don't think there's any scenario where they get to kill us, but I also think it's just probably safer to kill this thing now. Because they have one card and they have devil's place, so they can't do both effectively someone advertised they had some for me I could buy from them and said over and over they'd get back to me and they finally said oh sorry they're sold out like two days what are we talking about oh it's Cowboy Bebo sleeves gotcha gotcha Oh yeah, they did. Let's make sure we do this jobby, and we went one two with our, with our. I think the deck is sweet. <clears throat> In games, we went uh, what one two three four four four, is that right? So not bad. We had eight mana, so we could also actually just play Whip of Erebos and Flashback something. It's, we only have Bloodbraid Elf, though, so not ideal. Although we would gain, like, 11 life. And we did win with dragons quite quite frequently. And not too shabby. I actually, I mean, like, despite the matches, I think this deck was pretty fun. I had a good time. So, Samurai, thank you so much for the for the stipulation. Really appreciate it, buddy. If you guys want to submit your own, definitely uh, check out my Twitch page or my Patreon page or any, any of those pages that go to supporting me and the things that I do. Thank you guys for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, you can also check out CoolStuffInc.com and ManaTraders.com. The links and promo codes are all down below in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.